I'm gonna share with you why shooting at the lowest ISO possible could be some of the worst advice you've ever been given as a photographer. I don't think that's the best way of explaining how to reduce the amount of noise in your shot. I think that that also limits you in various other different ways. It's the absence of light that actually causes the noise. Your ISO can only amplify the amount of noise that's already in your shot. So the only two things that can allow there to be more light to come onto the sensor is going to be your shutter speed and your aperture. So you can slow down that shutter speed, but the problem with slowing down the shutter speed is if you're shooting handheld, you're gonna start to introduce some motion blur into your shot naturally. But let's just say you raise your aperture and you or you lower your aperture to the lowest it can possibly be and you're, you're shooting wide open, but there's still not enough light. So naturally what you're gonna wanna do is crank your ISO. So what do you do? Well, in a perfect world, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have enough light to be able to get a good exposure using your shutter speed and your aperture and then trying to keep your ISO at the lowest it could possibly be. But we don't live in a perfect world. So there's going to be trade-offs. If you're a street photographer and you're capturing moving vehicles or people walking and you want your photos to be nice and sharp, well, you're gonna have to shoot at a higher shutter speed. That means that it's gonna be, your images might be a little bit darker because there's, the shutter's not gonna be open long enough for you to be able to bring in enough light. And even if you're shooting wide open, there still may not be enough light depending on the time of day that you're shooting. For me, I've had to shoot in a bunch of low light situations. Like I've had to shoot graduations without a flash. And so in order for me to be able to get a shot, I'm gonna have to raise my ISO or else I'm not gonna get the shot. It's actually worse for you to shoot at a low ISO and have an really underexposed image than it is to raise your ISO slightly and get the exposure right in camera. Because if you try to go into Lightroom and raise the exposure on a really underexposed image with a low ISO, you're gonna see that there's going to be a lot more noise in that photo than there was in the photo that you took where you raised your ISO slightly. There are some cameras that you can actually keep your ISO low and then increase the exposure in Lightroom and the image will look the same, but that's gonna be for cameras that are ISO invariant. Not all cameras are gonna be that way, so definitely do your research before you decide to make that move. Good thing is nowadays is Lightroom does a really good job of cleaning up noise. So if you do have a little bit of noise in your shot, it's not that big of a deal. So it really just depends on the situation, but I would much rather have the shot than to not get the shot because I was worried about my ISO being too low. There are extremes to this. Now, if you were to raise your ISO to the highest ISO that your camera will allow, you are going to have noise. There's extremes on both ends. Another trade-off when you raise your ISO is that it's gonna affect your dynamic range. But I think that you would much rather get the shot and the highlights be a little bit overexposed than to not get the shot at all. If you're shooting in a controlled light situation, like in a studio or with a flash, by all means, shoot at the lowest ISO possible. It's not gonna be necessary for you to increase your ISO at that point. I think that when a new photographer is told they should shoot at the lowest ISO possible, I think that there's some additional information that is absent in that statement. So I think that you could better say it in a way that it's like, first you should dial in your shutter speed and then your aperture based off of what your specific shot is going to be. So is it landscape? Is it wildlife? Is it portrait? Are you in a controlled environment? And then figure out what are your other options to make sure that your exposure is correct. If you don't have a flash and you don't have an external light source, then you're gonna have to raise your ISO in order to get the shot, and that's okay. If you do have those other options, then raise the brightness of your external lighting to get the exposure right or turn on some lights. I don't think that it is best to say that someone should shoot at the lowest ISO possible because I think that that kind of limits the creativity of photographers and makes them think that it's something that is ruining their shots when in reality, their photos are actually just noisy because they're not getting enough light onto the sensor. Since you watched this video, I don't think that you're gonna make the mistake of shooting at the wrong ISO anymore, but there are some other mistakes that you could make. So I made a full video on what the most common photography mistakes are. You can check that out and I'll see you in the next one.